Welcome back everybody, Ross here with the finale to Dead Rising. So, in between last episode, well, obviously you can see I've leveled up a bit. I ran around collecting the final queens, also did some grinding on some fools. I have about three hours left before I zombify. Turns out you can't destroy the helicopter, it's just really effing hard, and aiming and shooting in this game are butt cheek. But, yep, I'm pretty much done, ready to go. I tried to get rid of the hat. How do I get rid of the hat? How do you get Frank to take hats off in this game? Cease. But, um... Anyways. That aside. Down to the final queen. I saved before giving it to her to see if... Because I couldn't remember, like, does this trigger the ending immediately? Yes. This might be a shorter episode. I can't remember how long the finale is. I don't remember it being that long, but... Who knows what parts I may have forgotten. It won't be long now. Just one more ought to do it. Go find one last specimen for me, Frank. Here you go, milady. Ask and receive. So let's turn ourselves into a zombie time bomb. You're gonna inject me with that, huh? Okay, Doc. Let's get this over with. <clears throat> now they don't show it, so it isn't going through. At least I won't have to worry about turning into one of them for a while. So that isn't going through sleeves. Because you can have so many stupid outfits. Okay. Next on the agenda. Well, the sleeves aren't much longer than his Figure standards. out a way to get the hell out of here. While I was isolating the hormone, I managed to identify a pheromone that suppresses the attack instinct in adult parasites. In other words, the zombies don't like the way it smells. <coughs> if you give me a little more time, I should be able to produce some of this pheromone. They think it smells bad? <laughs> you think we could use something like that to keep them away from us? We could just walk right past them and get out of here. In theory, yes. Either way, it's certainly better than nothing. There was a cave. Outside, where the helicopter crashed. It was packed with zombies. I mean, shoulder to shoulder. But it may lead somewhere outside. If it works, your anti-zombie perfume, it could keep us safe in that cave. What do you say? You ready to get the hell out of here? There won't be enough of this pheromone to waste it on experiments. We'll only have enough to use it once. Whatever you say. Let's roll the dice. It's all or nothing. So, there's our way out. Right underneath the military's nose. I did tell you shoulder to shoulder. Do you think I was exaggerating? How on earth could this lead? I don't know. But considering how many of them keep pouring out of here, it must be connected to something. Isabella, look. Any other way out of here is guarded by the military. If we're gonna get out of here and put a stop to Carlito's plan, we've got to go in there. It's the only way. It's not like we're unarmed. We got your smelly perfume, don't we? <laughs> Please stop calling it that. I wouldn't be alive right now if your shot hadn't worked. The perfume's gonna work too. I know it. Believe in that biomedical magic, sweetie. Because you can work it. All right. Just like I work this skirt. Let's go. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, 
right. All right. <laughs> what was that, Frank? Okie dokes. Final save point, I believe. Right. Good job, Isabella. Woman, please! Yeah, we need her to stay very close or we get ripped apart. Oh, shit. All right, time to start spinning. Oh, yeah, one of my level ups, I can now do this. Which is awesome as hell. I love it just knocks them down. Bella, please stick with me. It's Bella, fucking, why do you just stand there, girl? Like I, I really have to literally hold your hand to make you move forward. You are a grown-ass woman and a smart one too. Fucking move! Ugh. Good, bloody lord. Now, I probably could just change on my way through all of this, which would be fun. Oh, I got a sense of through here. Ah! Okay, this is going poorly. Bella, help! Sorry! This Lariat is very effective, though. Okay, then. Alright, they're starting to die down here. Never mind. Oh dear god. It's Bella! Why did you just ditch me? Fucking help! Alright, I'm chainsawing. It, fuck this. Hey, she seems invincible here. Oh, now you'll move forward. I am close to a level up. Well, anyways, I started swinging. Yeah, this is way better than depending on her. Fuck it. Oh, but you'll follow me now, bitch. I'm just fucking going. She'll be fine. She's got a fucking barrier right now. She is refusing to share! 
Tell me we're a team, Isabella. I knew I couldn't trust you, you crazy moto roadkill bitch. Ugh. Freedom. Almost. Are you sure this was a good idea? Guards here, too. Damn. If we can get that what gate is open, this time? they'll be too busy dealing with zombies to notice us slip by. Wait. The pheromone is starting to wear off. It's only strong enough to cover one of us. What are you... What All right, are you hang doing? on tight, okay? Once we're out, let's see if we can't steal ourselves that set of wheels. This from the fucking start. Right. <sighs> right. All right. Really, game. Hello, gentlemen. Let's just go ahead and pop this open. Alright, get fucked, gentlemen. Haha! <laughs> it's ours now. I wonder how those three assholes in the park managed to get their hands on one of these. Why did she pull into the uh Passenger seat in game, and then the country she's suddenly there without even moving to it. Yeah, just stop and sit there. That's a good idea. With that coming towards you. All right. The XM3 prototype. Welcome to the finale, folks. It's the turret section. I can't remember if this thing can overheat or if you can just go crazy. Ugh. Just unload. Doesn't seem like it can overheat. I feel like it would have by now. Stop that. Turret. Back to shoot. Thank you, blinking green light. Glad the military installed those up front. I am actually getting physically damaged, you can see. Like, damn, you took your sweet time. weird from holding this button down so long and the vibration of the controller. Let me just shove this damn controller down the can real quick. I mean... I'd never do that. I'm not some kind of fucking degenerate. Oh, that sounded fun. 
Oh! That's very fun! Love how the big barrel on the front is just going completely unused. The most recognizable part of the tank. Stopping him. And get fucked. That was easy. Again, don't stop. Just fucking go. Why are you just gonna stand there and wait? These automated machines are no use at all on the battlefield. Switch to manual control. Isabel, you want to continue shooting? No? Good driving, Frank. up the mall. On a mission in which the number of targets is unclear, it's difficult to ensure absolute thoroughness. <laughs> you have imagination. That's what drives you in your quest to run. Your quest to hide. As prey, you and your kind are much more stubborn than the zombies. How much do you know about the zombies? I commanded the Santa Cabeza cleanup operation. If we had fulfilled our mission then, we wouldn't be needed here now to take care of this incident. That's all it was to you, huh? A mission. What about those innocent people who had to pay for sins committed by our government our and its inhuman research? Our mistakes have not begun with this operation. <laughs> Humanity has proven itself to be quite adept at making mistakes. Well, we can agree there. Ha! Hell! It's the only thing we truly excel at. Okay, well, he's not completely we'll insane. Then. I'd say this mission isn't quite over yet. Don't you agree? <laughs> oh, right. Those that we let out. They finally caught up. And let the final battle commence. Ow! Time to stop holding back. Uh-oh. <laughs> badass kick! Uh. Ow. Ow. Yeah, by the way, you don't have any items, because, I don't know, Frank threw them away for some stupid fucking reason. I remember the Lariat being really good on this asshole. What? Oh, what was that fucking telekinesis grab? Yeah, 
Okay, can I use them to get that level up I'm close to? What? How does he grab you? He just like, he's literally magic! Yeah, keep... Ow. Okay, yeah, stay on the lower spot. That seems to work best. You cannot win! I have the low ground! Oh, the roundhouse is really good. <laughs> nice. Leveling up during the final boss to heal. Boy, Frank. Ow. Oh, God, you do not have a lot to deal with this guy. You know, there's not that many. They're just around the tank. What if I just... Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, that's a lot of zombies. Yeah, this seems to be the strat. Keep a level distance. <laughs> Ow, or just get kicked in the fucking head. Haha! <laughs> Roadhouse. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> that roundhouse fucking hurts. Roundhouse the man right into a buffet. Guessing her repellent just long worn off. And so ends the tale of Frank West and of Willamette. For real this time. Yes, that's how it fucking ends. Ugh. There's no damn well they bring Frank later, because it's been how many years since this game, and there's been how many more games since then? Which I've never... Oh my god, it's so late. Which I've never played any of the other games. But... Maybe I'll move on to one of those. Because... I got this on a sale. 
And that sale included Dead Rising 2 and... What was the other one? Off the Record, I believe? So... Shit, I enjoyed this trip down memory lane. Maybe I'll go back... Maybe I'll not go back, because I never... Can't go back to something you've never been to, but, uh... Maybe I'll check those out after this. I don't know if I'll do videos on them. Because, while it had been a long time, as you can see, I clearly remembered a lot of this damn game, despite the many, many, many years since its release and my one playthrough. Holy crap. Well, I didn't do one playthrough. I unlocked quite a lot. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I never went back and, like, revisited it after I got done with it. But, um, those vague memories did help m make this a decently smooth ride. Otherwise, it probably just would have been a lot of me running the fuck around and accomplishing absolutely nothing for hours on it. I think, like, one episode maybe didn't have a lot getting much done in it. But that's just kind of the nature of the game's time-based system, you know? And at its core, this really is just a fuck-around-and-find-out sandbox. But, oh, it's got interesting characters. A decent story, mystery. And Carlito's plan did happen, considering there's, like, five other games, and I'm pretty sure the whole world is fucked. Or maybe it's just the United States that gets fucked. I'm... I've not only never played any other games, I'm not really up to knowledge on any of the uh, future games either. You know? Not up to speed on the story and lore and all of that jazz. Oh lord, they coming. But, um, yeah, it's age shows. It's, especially in the controls, I don't know, there's plenty of modern games with shit controls too, you know? But, uh, the game is definitely jank. It's definitely rough around the edges. But, despite the tomfuckery, so much of it is good at its core. And it being the first of the series, and kind of one of the first games of this style, really, just in general. Let's give a fucking round of applause for Dead Rising. It's a good fucking game, I'll just say it. It's like, nothing's perfect, and this isn't, but, oh, fuck yes. What about the rest of the outfit? I know I can get the helmet in the souvenir shop at the theater, but... Hmm. I'll have to look up some of the other unlockables. I'm pretty sure I remember the Mega Buster was getting to, like, 53,000-something kills in one playthrough. Which, if you want to know how to do that, grab a car and roll through the maintenance tunnels all damn day. All damn days. Special Forces boots, Special Forces belt, Prisoner garb... Overtime. Isn't that what I was just playing? Infinity mode. I meant to say, it's like, wait, ammo belt. Didn't I already get the... Frank West managed to escape the town of Willamette with information pertinent to the incident under his belt. The news caused a fervor throughout the world, leading the U.S. government to admit at least partial culpability in the livestock research program. However... No connection to the Willamette incident was acknowledged, and the events that occurred there were deemed the work of a French terrorist group. Because why the fuck would the government ever take responsibility for anything? The people of the world, as could be expected from the modern culture of news saturation, soon let the Willamette incident fade from their minds. The authenticity of Carlito's chilling plan to utilize the orphans as his pawns has yet to be confirmed or proven false. And yet he complained. That his belly was not full. And with that, 
So ends the tale of Dead Rising 1. So yeah, like I said, good game despite the rough parts that are a little annoying. Not just controls, but oh my god, the fucking AI, the partner survivor AI is just absolute ass. Yes. But that does it for this game. Until whatever happens next, and I think I have a pretty good idea of what's coming next on this channel. You all have a great evening and take care of yourselves. Good night, everybody.